All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and welcome to the second ever episode of Dokkan History, the series on this channel where I basically tell you guys stories about crazy or funny or maybe even sad things that happened in the history of this game. Now, this was actually a new series I introduced on the channel, I want to say almost a year ago, with the first video talking about the to be released leader skills for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Phase Omega Shenron. And that video was actually received really well, people seem to like it a lot, but <laughs> I kind of just forgot about it after that first one. And uh, every once in a while, you know, someone would ask me, Yo, Tiger, are you going to do another Tokon history video? Are you going to bring it back? And I, I always said I would. I've always wanted to, but I just never really got around to it. Well, today, we are officially bringing it back to the channel, and hopefully from this point onward, we can make it a more regular part of my regular, you know, video rotation, right? I mean, I'm gonna try my best, no promises. Anyways, today's video, I wanna talk to you guys about the dark ages of the hidden potential system. And of course, this video is mostly intended for newer players, that weren't around back then, like two or three years ago. Um, but I mean, I think older players, veteran players like me who have been playing for longer can still get a kick out of it just by, you know, remembering just how bad things were at that time, right? So uh, anyways, the hidden potential system today is pretty efficient. It's pretty smooth, right? You can rainbow a unit from like 0% to 100% in literally 30 seconds flat if you're fast, maybe a minute if you're slow. But back then, and this is, like I said, about two to three years ago, I don't remember the exact time, like I can't tell you the month or anything like that because it's been so long. Um, back then though, it would take 15, even 20 plus minutes to rainbow just one unit, all right? So if you got a unit and you got them duped out and you want to bring them from 0% to 100%, it would take sometimes up to 20 minutes plus to just do that which is crazy to think about, right? You're like, how, how does that work? Like, how is that possible? Um, it was a simpler time, for sure. It was a simpler time before there were a million LRs in this game, before I think we maybe even had categories in, at least on global. I mean, if you go far back enough, there was actually no hidden potential system at all, right? There was no dupe system uh, when the game first came out. So the specific time frame we're talking about in this video is basically between after the release of the hidden potential system, but before they knew what they were doing with it, right? So we had the hidden potential system at this point, but the way that you uh, put orbs into a unit was so inefficient, just made no sense whatsoever. And it wasn't for like a long time before they actually gave us an update that uh, made it the way it is today. So today, you know, you can just like click on whatever, whatever node you want. You can go like over here, and if you click on this node, then all the nodes on the path to the one you clicked will light up. You can just activate them all at once, right? So you can do that. You can click like there. Uh, no, you can't because I don't have any dupes. My bad. But let's say you want to click like over here or click over there. Super, super efficient, right? And you just need like maybe like 10 clicks, maybe a few more. Click activate. It takes like two seconds to load and you're good to go. But back then, when the hidden potential system first came out, the way it worked, was that you couldn't click more than one node at a time. So let's say I wanted to fill out this uh, top left path here. I would have to go this node, activate, okay. It would take two seconds, maybe even longer sometimes, depending on your internet connection, depending on the server um, to load. You get that one and you click this one, you click activate, you click okay, okay. And then you click another node activate okay and then it would just like load for like two three seconds every time sometimes even longer like i said and there were literally times where it would take me 20 plus minutes i'm not kidding like it, it, i'm not exaggerating it's actually happened people who were playing at that time know what i'm talking about and it's just inconceivable you know in this day and age with the way dokkan is now i'm not saying it's perfect but it is way better to to think that like this was actually a thing back then, man. It's crazy. And this is th these nodes are actually like loading a lot faster than I remember them like back then. Maybe my, my internet was slower back then. Maybe the game wasn't as well optimized. Actually, I can pretty much confirm it wasn't as well optimized back then. But um, this is like 
even faster than I remember it being, just because, you know, between nodes, it's loading faster than before. So there you go, guys. I mean, could you imagine doing this, like, today? You know, like, let's say you, you have a couple of, like, free-to-play units to farm. Let's say a new story event comes out, there's, like, three new free-to-play units, and you want to rainbow all of them. You're literally sitting there for, like, almost an hour <laughs> just to fill out the hidden potential systems of these units. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, there'd be times where I would, you know, literally put on an episode of, like, I don't know, Dragon Ball or whatever anime I'm watching, or, like, Friends or something like that. And once... So, basically, I would start the episode, right, with, with the unit at 0%. And when the episode is over, that was when, like, I was activating the final nodes to get them to 100%. So, it was crazy. Um, it was a thing. Trust me. I mean, maybe you can see videos of it back in the day. But, uh... I'm really glad that we're past those times. I'm really glad that, you know, it's uh, not like that anymore. But you guys need to understand the struggle. That's kind of the point of these videos, just to like let you guys know like how bad it was back in the day. I mean, these videos, I don't think are all gonna be like this. Like the last one was just talking about like a funny thing or a crazy thing that Bandai did by releasing new units, like new Dokkan Fest units with no leader skills. If you guys wanna know what that was all about, go check it out. But at this one is definitely just to show, I guess, newer players that, uh, you know, you're taking this for granted because we didn't have this <laughs> back in the day. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that serious, but uh, it's definitely something to think, funny to just think about, I think. It's just funny, something funny to remember for me as someone who's been playing for a long time. And that is pretty much the video, man. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember the dark ages of the hidden potential system just like me, and I don't think it's actually been that long since we had this new update on Global, right? Like, it's been at most two years, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but in my memory, it feels honestly pretty recent that we got the update. So as you can see, yeah, like, I've, I've been talking for like six, seven minutes now, and we're not even done the one. <laughs> path obviously uh i'm going a little bit slower than i would be if i was just like paying sole attention to this but you guys get the point it was really really bad really really bad anyways that is the video um second episode of dokkan history in the books and as i said man more coming possibly in the future we'll see um i'm planning to do one i think on the 300 stone compensation thing could be a bit of a controversial video but it's definitely you know falls under it definitely falls under the criteria for Dokkan history I mean it was something crazy that happened in the history of Dokkan and if you guys have any suggestions for other Dokkan history videos in the future I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now but I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments down below give me your suggestions and uh, if I turn them into videos then I might give you guys a shout out all right so that is today's video guys thank you so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. You know what? Actually, before we go, let me just finish filling out this uh, potential grid the right way because. It's gonna bother me to end the video with uh, Piccolo only at like 9% or whatever he was at. So let's just do this real quick. As you can see, much, much faster now than that than the way I was doing it before. There we go. Oh, oh, you know what? He's SA, he's SA1 right now. Okay, I gotta grind those Piccolos from the Ginyu Force event. Okay, so here we go. And he's at least at 41%, so let's activate those. And there it is, my friends. A 41% piccolo and uh, that's the video thank you once again for watching and I guess I already said everything else so I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media signing out